Hi hey guys, I'm Peter Melhorn. This morning I'm out doing a little catfish prospecting to see if the catfish spawn has come to an end for 2017. If you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos and leave any questions down in the comment section below. All right, folks, so here's what I figured out. This is my third day out in a row. I figured out that one, the best bite right now is early in the morning. Uh, that could be a combination of things. It may be when they're feeding, and it could also be the boat traffic. Uh, I'm fishing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and obviously there's gonna be more boat traffic, especially being you know this far into June. Mid to late June, it's summertime, people are out. There's a lot of boat traffic, especially toward midday. Bite really started to decline around midday. So if you're gonna be out fishing now, you can fish at night. Uh, I'm not a big fan of fishing at night in the summertime, just because of all the drunks on the water. But uh, if you're gonna fish, be out early, be out before sunrise, uh, and then fish and get off if you like, especially if you fish on lakes that are crowded. And the ones around here are, are crowded in the summertime. Uh, and the other thing I'm finding is some fish are starting to bite. There's starting to be some teeners caught. I've heard of some 40s and 50s being picked off. So my call is this. I think the spawn is pretty much done. Pretty much. Still going to be some fish spawning. Always are, just like some always spawn early. But I think we're into, I think we're into some normalized summertime fishing now. So uh, if you got a chance to get out in the water, you're gonna start seeing the bite get better and better. So uh, I'm trying a little different place. I've tried three different places every day I've been out here just to see what's going on. Uh, yesterday was great. Uh, caught some fish, a lot of battle-torn blues, uh, a lot of scars, bite marks, that kind of stuff that we're healing up. Uh, the day before that didn't do us good, but I caught a bunch of channel caps. And today I'm trying a little different area and just see what's going on. I got a, I, I'm pretty well to the point that we can kind of resume normal summertime fishing patterns. I think the worst is over and uh, there's a lot of good fishing to go. So we're gonna sit back, see what kind of fish we put in the boat today. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we get a big one. Cause guess what? I put my net back in the boat. Uh, I didn't have it the first two days. Realized I probably needed it yesterday. And uh, I actually drove out of the driveway this morning, went and got gas and realized I didn't get it. Came back home and got it. So. I've got it if I need it now. Finally, we got us a little feller eating here. Been sitting here at least 30 minutes. I hadn't had a bite, I hadn't had a sniff. An upper end of the lake. It's kind of a riverine area. It's not totally rivery. I'm at the last major creek. It's real current driven. There's no current, which I didn't expect to have any this morning. Nice little fat blue. Got it loose. There we go. That's one way to get rid of them. <laughs> Release them that way. Should have netted them probably, but it's okay. I'm not keeping them anyway. It's a good start. See what else we got out here. All right, folks, I've had a bunch of you message me about what I look for on the sonar. And uh, instead of doing an in-depth video, I'm gonna start doing some stuff on each of these videos. It kind of shows you what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm in a place right now where it's very shallow. It's only about seven feet. So you have a very small cone footprint that you're looking at underneath the boat. Seven feet, I'm probably looking at maybe two feet of water, two and a half feet, something like that. So what I use is structure scan here, riding in here. And when I come into shallow water, I'm not looking for fish to fish for as much as I'm looking for bait. If there's bait back here, I feel confident I can catch some fish. So there's my side scan image. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of bait in through here, a lot of bait schools. Right there's a fish, decent sized fish. Up off the bottom, you can pick it out pretty good. There's another one, barely off the bottom. There's a lot of bait through here, and that's the thing that I have more confidence in than anything. It's great to see fish. I mean, that's awesome, but uh, I like seeing these schools of bait in through here. Like I said, I if I was looking at my sonar, my regular sonar, 
probably wouldn't be seeing much of anything. I can punch over to that real quick. That's all you're looking at. You're looking at a very, the area that you're seeing here on the bottom is only maybe two feet wide. So you're not seeing a lot. That's why there's nothing showing up in here. If you see an arch in this area, you came straight over the top of it. So that's where one place where structure scan comes in very handy. Shows me there's bait all out through here, all out through the water column. There's a few fish in through here scattered out. So uh, it's a place I feel pretty confident in uh, putting anchors down and doing some anchoring. Um, I may try drifting it, but for now I'm going to try anchoring it just to see what's in here. All right, hopefully that gives you some information on what to do here in shallow water, especially if you have structure scan. Um, I'm no sonar expert by any means, but that's just kind of what I do uh, when I'm trying to find fish in here. You got me a nibbler here. Oh yeah, he's swimming off with it. That's off in the other direction. Bam. Dang. <laughs> Thing's 90 degrees to where I casted it out. Stay buttoned up here. Okay, that's a blue. That's a blue back here. I'm trying something shallow just for the heck of it. So we got a nice blue. female hadn't been torn up bad maybe some old marks on her it's a good fish there all right some of you asked me about sonar well here's some deep water stuff that 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 it's kind of what you're looking for you know I'm like that showing up probably a good time to put the anchors down here if he's not in that line. That's a pretty good fold over. Straight underneath the boat. Might be glad I went and got my net. Taking some line. Nice to get into a rod bender. I've been using some heavier rods, but I decided here Some of these medium weight rods. Have a little more fun with these fish. Now these are the same fish I showed you the sonar picture of. I anchored above them. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. There's another one going off right over here. Nice fish. Scars there. Be a fish on that rod too. This fish doesn't know he's hooked. Oh, he does now. I've been set up here for less than five minutes, maybe ten. Mark those fish I showed you in the video. Rolled up on them on the bank above them, there at the bottom of a channel edge. Put the baits back on top of them. That's a nice channel cat. Get a good weight on him for the biologist. He used to catch them this size all the time in Lake Wally all the time. Now that size fish is a rarity. All right folks, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I ended up with nine fish, uh, several blues, a bunch of channels, which is about par. I had that one good one. You could tell he'd been in some spawning action. I uh, was hoping for some more, but hey, it's not a bad day. Uh, I'm happy to get what I got. Uh, it gives me more information for uh, the rest of my trips out here later this month. So like the video please hit that subscribe button down in the corner so you can stay up to date on all the new videos we have coming out and if you have any questions leave them down there in the comment section below because i'd love to hear from you look forward to seeing you on the water